All right, here we are. It is the Spider-Man break. Then we have personal breaks. And then Finest. Finest is probably going to start a little bit later than 3 o'clock. But hey, you know what? That's okay. Sometimes that happens in life. All right, if you've never done a draft with us... Oh, look at that. It's back in focus. It's the camera's decision if it wants to be in focus or not. We'll see what happens. It's a beautiful thing, technology. Um, yeah, that's my knee. Awesome. Anyways. It's on camera. Yeah. Anywho, um, that's a Hollywood knee. if you never, yeah, it is. I'm a knee model on the weekends when I'm not coal mining with my family. I'm trying to be a model. I made a documentary on my life. I talked about this earlier. I'm a model whose family's a coal miner, and I got to work on it on the weekends. Pretty good story. Yeah. There. It almost sounds like an alibi, like you're yeah. you did a crime or something, or you're in the witness protection program. I had a, I had a, a move called Gold Steel. Oh in the movies they changed it to Blue Steel, but hey, <laughs> neither here nor there. I don't want to talk about the gasoline. Anyways, so if you've ever been in a draft, if you've never been in a draft with us, this is how it works. We open up all the product, show you all the comics, then we do the random for the draft positions. Draft order, however you want to call it. Then we'll send you an email with the date and time of the draft. The date will be tomorrow, the 21st. The time will be at 2 p.m. We'll send you the draft order, the list of products that were pulled and the video link you send us back an email saying i will be live or you send us back your draft list and we'll draft your comic based off that beautiful thing about a draft here in the lounges you don't have to be present for the break and you don't have to be present for the draft makes it very easy for those of us who have jobs or who cannot be around at that time and my personal favorite because i'm lazy if you're just lazy and you don't feel like watching at all then you don't have to do it either. So that's usually the selling point for me. Are you lazy? Go on. What if I told you you had to do pretty much nothing? Go on. Still with you. Still with you. All right, so you got that litho. This is going to the last uh, pick, pick 12. Sweet Captain America, Bucky, lithograph action right there. Set that to the side. Let's get right on into it. Good luck to everybody. Like I said, this right here, this is just the opening of it. The draft is actually tomorrow. You get a whole 24 hours to do your research. We're going to start right out with number 73, 7.5 off white to white pages from 1969. You're looking at the first appearance of Silvermane and Man Mountain Marco. Dr. Kurt Connors actually makes a cameo on the last page of this one. Stan Lee's story. Very nice. So you got an 8.5, number 96, white pages. This is a drug story not approved by the Comics Code Authority with a Green Goblin appearance. There you go. That one's from 1971. What a year 1971 was. I don't remember it like yesterday. Remember, I was a cowboy and I lived in an urban setting. Before or after you started your coal mining career? That was uh, that was after. I was yeah, I was an urban cowboy and I was a coal miner. All right, now we got uh, Amazing Spider-Man 270. The 9.0 white pages from 1985. You got a Fire Lord and the Avengers, Captain America, Wasp, Hercules, Black Knight, and Star Fox appearance with an Avengers 96 cover homage. Oh, it's Spider-Man. 
in his black costume. Huh, go figure. Who would have thought that? So, by the way, don't think that I left the idea that you're an urban cowboy. I still will want to know what the duties of an urban cowboy would be. Either now or later. Oh, I can't talk about the duties. The duties of urban cowboy I can't talk about. My wife might be listening. (laughs) Oh, oh, look at this. How about a number 10? 6.0. Off white to white pages. Stan Lee himself wrote that in 1964. What a year that one was. First appearance of the big man and the enforcers. Big man and the enforcers. That was my band name in college. Was. Were you guys like an REO Speedwagon cover band? Yeah, we, were, we were college rock. We were more like REM. Oh, oh REM. Awesome. Everybody hurts sometimes. Everybody hurts using their religion sometimes. Oh boy. What's that frequency? What? What's the frequency? Kenneth, isn't that one of their songs? Maybe problem. What's the frequency something? Maybe it's not Kenneth, I don't know. Anyways, here's a 213 Spider Man of amazingness. It's a Wizard in Lyra appearance. From 1981. You're looking at an 8.5 white pages. Take a look at that cover right there. Cowboy, spent a summer working at Sam's Club. Urban Cowboy sounds like a film we can make. It is. <laughs> uh, Amazing Spider Man 227, 8.0 white pages. You got a black cat appearance. Oh, is he in his black costume? No, it's just black cat. I dressed up as her for Halloween a couple years ago. <laughs> Took first place. In the Cowboy contest? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Went to the cosplay contest. <coughs> yep, did that, and then the next two years I was Brony of the Year. Was Alex runner up? No, 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 no. He wasn't invited. Not even cool. He was banned. The Brony invitation. This was before I knew Alex. This is a uh, number 28. Another nice one here. 5.0. Off white to white pages. The Ooh, I like this. The origin and first appearance of the Molten Man. Peter Parker graduates high school. Always love the first appearance ones. It's a 1965. Kind of few in the 60s. Kind of put myself. Well, Swing the conversation to the upcoming Spider-Man movie. Definitely looks good. Be very interested. There was actually an interesting conversation. Um, uh, forgive me for not remembering the names. Kevin Feige, is it? The guy, the Marvel guy for Disney. And then the Sony Amy something, I believe. They were talking about Spider-Man in the Venom movie. Uh, and it was kind of interesting because they, Marvel had said that Spider-Man wasn't going to be a part of the Venom movie. Because they're doing a Venom, and then they're doing, I think, Silver Sable and Black Cat. And that was going to be their own thing. And the woman who does the Sony movies is like, oh, you know, there's always a chance that uh, Tom Holland could appear. And uh, the guy was like, mm, the face was kind of like, mm, I don't think so. Because the uh, Venom movie's going to be rated R. Which doesn't fit oh, yeah. uh, necessarily in the construct of what Marvel is doing. Right? Right. So it'll be interesting to see how that all pans out. Got Amazing Spider-Man 58, 7.5, off-white to white pages. Another Stan Lee story. You got a Professor Spencer Smythe, Spider Slayer, uh, Kazar, and Zabu. I remember the Spider Slayer from the comics, and or from the cartoon in the 90s. I'm kind of 
pumped, man. They got a, an Avengers cartoon out, and this is the Secret Wars. Is this season's theme? Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good. I've caught episodes here and there. Ultron was last season, but uh, yeah, it just started on uh, Disney XD. So yeah, Disney oh, XD. Yeah. So I got I'm, I taped them, and I'm you know I'll watch with my son, even though he's he knows like Captain America, Iron Man, like yeah, we know they, it's really for you. They may oh it is for me yes, but. Uh, we don't have to tell that to everybody, even though we just did. Amazing Spider-Man 114, 7.5. Uh, it's from 1972. You got a Doc Ock and a Hammerhead appearance. Old Hammerhead. A few comics left here. What's this? 114. But yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming so it definitely looks... It's going to be a good one. How do you want to see that? Sure. I like the actor they chose. Uh, yeah, Tom Holland. Yeah, he's, pretty, he's pretty solid. I liked him in Civil War. Yeah. I, I think, well, the tone they're going for with Spider-Man, like kid, yeah. believable as like a, a young kid. Sure. Yeah. yeah More yeah, so sure. than like Garfield or McGuire. They, Mar McGuire was good, but... Never saw the Garfield. I saw the first part of each one and yeah. just never got into it. I hear it. I'll watch it at some point though. Uh, you got a uh, '67 from 1968. You got the first appearance of Randy Robertson with a Mysterio appearance. It's an 8.5 off white page. Just if I can get this. Uh, there you go. I like another first appearance comic. Which we have one up. There we go. Let's see. That's oh, a segue. break exception. That called segue. Or that. It's an 8.5 Amazing Spider-Man 155 from 1976, and this, oh, there's nothing there. Nothing in the, in the corner there. This is, uh, who is the most incredible killer of all? That seems like the most terrible thing to put in the middle of the comic, but uh, who is the best killer? Follow Spider-Man through a web of deception and death as he struggles to discover who done it. Oh, that's so 70s. Yeah. Just jack missing like a. Dun, dun, dun. It's probably one of those jack turkeys. Oh yeah. I would have got away with this. It wasn't jack turkeys. Kids. Nine kids. That needs to happen now. I need a Spider-Man Scooby-Doo cartoon crossover. I used to love the Scooby-Doo crossover. Like with Robert 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 and they did it with yeah. Like Alright. It's Amazing Spider Man 81. This is the last one in it. It's a 9.2. Off white to white pages. It's from 1970. It's the origin and first appearance of the kangaroo. Yes. The kangaroo. Awesome. Hey, Troy. The coming of. The kangaroo. Nothing going on over here. Nothing at all. Richard? What's happening to me? Alright, there it is. Now, let me switch over. We'll find out the draft order. Which would help if the numbers were in here. Okay, and now they are. Eight times. Eight times. One, two, three, four. Five, 
six, seven, and eight. Alright, I want you to pay zero attention to the numbers that you're going to see here, for they mean nothing. Seriously. Alright, eight. Eight has been a common number today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Boom, shakalaka, shakalaka, boom. All right, Todd, you got the first one. Ah, yes. You want L with the second spot. Nick F. Nick Fury, is that you with uh, the third spot? And the fourth spot. Double up. Fifth spot, it's going to Eric B. And Rakim. Yeah. Leonard L. Spot six. Spot seven is Eric B. Oh, I could have just done that. Copy. Nick F with uh, spot eight. Nicholas F with spot nine. Eric B. Spot ten. Eric B. Spot eleven. And J M spot twelve. While that is the last pick, you do pick up that uh, sweet Captain America Litho with Bucky fighting the Nazis. I fought the Nazis once, but that's a story for another day. Before I was an urban cowboy. Before I was a coal miner. But uh, after I was a dancer. But again, those are stories for another day. Alright. We'll see you later.